Hello, this is Chris Parker with 11 Lightroom hacks in three minutes. If you're ready, let's do it. You can easily fix lens distortions during import by creating a preset and then selecting the preset during the import process. And here are the steps. Under lens corrections, you're going to turn on both of these options. You're going to create a new preset. You're going to give it a name. You're going to check none and make sure lens corrections is selected. Click create and then in the import dialog box, expand apply during import and select your new preset from here. To see side by side of the before and after of an edit, press Y. To see a split instead, hold down shift and hit Y or use the forward slash to toggle back and forth. Now, if you have two almost identical images and you're not sure which one to keep, Select both and press the letter C to compare them side by side and then hit the sync button to sync the view. To ensure what you see in Lightroom is what you saw on the back of your camera, go to profile and select the camera profile used at the time of capture. For precise control over your edit, hover your mouse over the bar and use your up or down arrow key to adjust in small increments or hold down your shift key and press the arrows for a larger increment. To crop an image, press the letter R, but switching from landscape to portrait is sometimes frustrating, isn't it? Instead, use the letter X to toggle back and forth as needed. Now, you may want to reset your edit settings and can do so with the reset button. However, that will reset every single edit you've done. To reset just the tonal adjustments, for example, hold down your Alt or Option key and then click on the new button labeled Reset Tone. For precise control over sharpening, so you're not sharpening unwanted portions of an image like skin or a sky, apply masking. And to see where sharpening is being applied, hold down your Alt or Option key and anything in white is sharpened. If your retouching isn't coming out the way you expected, you can delete an edit by selecting and hitting your Backspace or Delete key. Or to remove multiple edits, hold down your Alt or Option key and then drag your scissors tool around the edits and then to remove them, release the key. If you have hundreds of images you're editing or more, and you're not sure which images still need to be edited, you can filter them by edit status in the library module under attribute, and then click on the second option to reveal the images that still need to be edited. Now, if your eyes are as bad as mine, you may want more real estate for your images, and you can click on an edge of a panel to make it wider or skinnier, or, to hide the left and right panels, hit your tab key. All right, for more Lightroom editing tips, check out this playlist next or my list of 50 Lightroom hacks that can help you edit twice as fast with this video next.